So I know that there's going to be some people who are going to watch this and say like, oh, what a great problem to have, you know, yeah, like, think that, like, yeah, yeah. What, what would your response to them be? Like how, what are like the, the actual specific things that make it so difficult to have large breasts? I had a little mental breakdown mm -hmm. like last, I think it was two weeks ago with my friend mm -hmm. because I had just gotten back from a trip, a family vacation where I took my mom to Mexico and it really hit me. It's like, I can't dress these down. Yeah. I'm always like, the second I got off the airplane, this girl comes up, can I touch your boobs? How do you get boobs like that? And it, they do pass off as real. Mm -hmm. And like, I could just say they're real, but most people just, you know, oh, you did this to yourself. Like, mm -hmm. I'm going to stare. I'm going to look. I'm going to yell. You asked for it. Kind yeah, of thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, when I'm trying to tone that down or be in a family situation where I don't want the attention, I'm trying to enjoy things. It's like, it's hard because it, guys and girls are yelling and across the pool from, and. And it's, it's like, you're going to a warm place, right? So you're not going to wear yeah, any clothes. You're going thing. to a pool. So you're going to wear a bikini or a, like a one piece. And yeah, yeah it's not like you're going to wear a turtleneck everywhere you go. Right. I have a lot of friends who, you know, have large breasts and they say that like it causes a lot of back pain. Mm. Do you deal with that? Um, I've been lucky so far. I mean, I can't lie. Of course, I'm always on my roller stretching my back. Mm -hmm. But I don't feel like I'm having that issue yet. Mm. But I mean, that's like another thing that's down the road that's going to be, yeah, like I do some Pilates and some strength training and stuff like that to try and but my posture is starting to show it, mm -hmm. but I don't have back pain. Sounds like you've been actively working to not have it. Yeah, I feel like um, it wasn't like I'd had been carrying this chest around my whole life. So mm -hmm. um, I don't know if that makes a difference. Yeah. But what does bo bother me is like even this, I think there's like an indent. So mm -hmm. my shoulders get sore more than anything. Right. Even just like little straps. Yeah, that makes sense. And yeah. it makes it hard to find clothes. That yeah. Fit. You can't wear strapless like ever. Ever. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I, I, I honestly like I mm -hmm. I would not want to be in your position. So I, I feel for you. I know like yeah. a lot of people think like, oh, the biggest boobs, the best. But I think you've really outlined how it can affect you like in a negative way. Yeah. Cause it's just, sometimes I explain it to my friend as it's just like, I want to take them off and hang them up, you yeah. know? And like, just cause yeah. it doesn't matter if I'm wearing a sweatshirt or whatever. It's, it's, they're there Yeah, very much. So, yeah. so yeah. And it would be another thing if you had actually gotten a breast enlargement to that size, mm -hmm. like that was your goal, right? Mm -hmm. Then you'd be. Sometimes I get a little manic and I'm like, I tease my fans. I'm like, should I go bigger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to have that moment online. But I mean, when I when I actually am being honest, mm -hmm. truth telling, no, I will not increase the size. If anything, it's just going to be starting to take care of the problem, such as what gravity does and like how big they are. Right, yeah. right. Um, but I would assume that they're probably like a huge money maker for you, right? Oh, like yeah. that's your focus with your fans. So it's like, yeah, yeah. it's that weird double edged sword mm -hmm. because, um, you know, I and mean, that's big... why people have a hard time having sympathy for me. Mm -hmm. And like even having a, like a heart to heart and crying in front of my friend, it sounds dramatic, but it was mm -hmm. a mental breakdown. Um, it's just like, she's just like, I could see it in her face. Like she loves me and everything, but it's like, you got to think of it as a blessing. But then, you know, yeah. I am allowed to feel a little yeah. bit cursed. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Before you were in porn, did having big boobs like affect your dating life? I had such a bad experience growing up with big boobs. Mm -hmm. The embarrassment from like being pulled aside and like my mom telling me I have to be the one to wear a bra in class. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, that's just like it starts it off as this, it sets the tone Mm -hmm. Of like it's shameful or like hide them and everything like that, and then in high school it was very the boys' attention. It was just too much. Mm -hmm. It was just like she has those. She must be a slut. She must put out. She must you know. So mm -hmm. it was like a lot of unwanted attention. I, yeah. yeah, you were not yeah. able to like just be yourself and be mm -hmm. and and present yourself just as a as a person. It was always like the boobs and yeah. then the face. Yeah, right, I like had, that kind of thing. Yeah, it's it's almost like 
it's just like, this is my lead Mm -hmm. always when I don't want it to be sometimes. So yeah. yeah. Another bad experience, like I've never spoken about it before. It's just like, there was this hockey player and he was going to go be drafted or be successful or whatever. And all my, these girls that wanted to uh, make me feel pretty shameful about myself. Like they set up this camera to record me changing because he invited me over for a hot tub and yeah, they recorded me changing and like a couple people saw it before it got deleted. And that was just like, that made me feel so terrible Wow. After that. So after that, I was just like, no dating, hide my boobs, like no attention. And it's like, after I got out of high school, things just switched for me. Like going into serving, started mm-hmm. to make money and like started to be financial gains and like maybe like attention that benefited me. Mm-hmm. And uh, so then I made like an entire switch and then went into exotic dancing after mm-hmm. After serving. Yeah. Because, you know, serving is... Pretty, as a waitress. Yeah, as yeah. a waitress. It's it's actually, like, a lot more to deal with than even dancing. Yeah. With guys. Yeah, no, um, diners can be quite... Rude back in... Yeah, ex- I think it's gotten better, maybe, but, mm-hmm. like, back in my time, it was free-for-all, just grabbing, touching. And in the strip clubs I worked in, you weren't allowed to do that. So there was more rules in the strip club than there was... That's as a crazy. server. So you yeah. got groped yeah. more as a waitress with than managers, you did. With managers, with staff, with wow. uh, customers. Yeah. And like slipping you like offers, like be a sugar baby, you know, with this kind of money. Mm-hmm. Weekly set you up an apartment more so than when I was a dancer, you know what I mean? So it was yeah, crazy environment. That is crazy. Yeah. Wow. So it was, once I got into dancing, I felt safer 